in a, in a vaginoplasty, surgeons remove a boy's penis, they remove the child's testicles, and they remove the child's scrotum. Brought to you by BlackForceSupplements.com. BlackForceSupplements.com. We'll get to that in a second. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell to so get notifications anytime I go live. I make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, Kennedy is the funniest dude on planet Earth. I don't know why we're still having this conversation about uh, men and women's sports. I just don't get it. What, what, are we, what are we, at this point, what are they fighting to accomplish? It's like 1,500 of these people in, in the entire United States of America, and only the elite are trying to play sports when they transfer when they trans over, transfer over or transition over to another gender, the appearance of another gender. Because let me just keep it honest with y'all in case you were sleeping on the rock. You can't change your sex. And really, there's no such thing as gender. Gender is associated with language. That means that certain words are gendered. Masculine, feminine, those are for words. That's the English language or language in general. Human beings don't necessarily have a gender. Human beings have a sex and there's only two sexes. They have a vested interest and I can't speak necessarily for women because I think this happened to men far more often. When it, talk, when, it, when it comes to transitioning, men are transitioning two and three times as much as women transitioning. But they have literally emasculated men in America. They're feeding you hormone, estrogen in your food. That's why people are soft. They don't have no man juice. They ain't never sat one day and said, you know what, I'm willing to lose it all for my country. They, they, they don't have that feeling. They, they on E. You know how the gas tank is full? They, they testosterone levels are on E. They weaning out. The thought of war and fighting and, 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 and scratching some skin off is just mortifying. This is what they're doing to our young people. And this is where my sponsor come into play. The supplement Turkesterone and Tunket Ali are two of the most, it's, it's almost like having, uh, uh, I want to say, I almost said LeBron James, but I don't really like LeBron James. It's like having Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes together. That's the, that's the quality of supplements that come together that help with stamina, testosterone. It, it helps with testosterone boosting lower stress. I mean, everything that makes a man a man, that our natural instincts to hunt and fight and gather and conquer and all of that is rooted in getting proper rest, stress relief, being able to recover, being able to have test test testosterone, stamina, all that stuff, even libido, all of that stuff. That's what those two supplements uh, together are doing, and it's for a limited time. You can get, you can buy two and get one free. All you got to do is go to the link in the description section. It's blackforcesupplements.com forward slash Tatum, and I take it every single day. I take it every day, man. I, I, I have seen such an improvement in my stamina and strength in the weight room that it's out of control. I mean, look at that. Y'all, y'all didn't see your boy was kind of getting a little chubby. Look, you, you see, y'all, y'all see it a little bit. Don't make me take my shirt off on this thing. But anyway, it's not about me. Get the link in the description section. Roll the film. The surgeries that activists are pushing on our children are even more disturbing. The World Professional Association for Transgender Health. This is a group known for its support of pediatric transgender policies. Has said that girls as young as 15 should be able to get double mastectomies to remove, the, to remove their breasts. By age 17, this group purportedly cares about kids, says that boys should be allowed to receive vaginoplasties. In a, in a vaginoplasty, surgeons remove a boy's penis, they remove the child's testicles, and they remove the child's scrotum. Emasculating that child, emasculating him. Then, the boy's remaining genital tissue is stitched together to create something that mimics a vaginal canal. If the boy doesn't have enough spare tissue to complete the procedure, the doctor may slice a skin graft from his abdomen or his thigh. In other words, the doctor cuts up healthy skin, leaving significant scarring, just to finish the vaginoplasty. Some boys never regain sensation in their reconstructed genital area. Now, 
These medical extremists also offer a similar procedure to young girls. It's called a phalloplasty. During a phalloplasty, doctors carve off skin and veins, often from a young girl's wrist and thigh, to create a fake penis. The surgery is very complex. It's very risky. It often results in serious complications. Complications, frankly, so disturbing that uh, they'll make you go weak in the knees. Because complications during phalloplasty happen so frequently, even the Radical World Professional Association for Transgender Health does not recommend phalloplasty in girls under 18. But some states allow it. Some states allow it. These procedures mutilate and they sterilize America's sons and daughters. Doctors cut out healthy organs to build a pile of flesh that may never regain full sensation or function properly, and it is barbaric. No child has the psychological maturity. No child has the emotional maturity to make this life-altering decision. 100,000% correct. What they're doing is changing the natural affections, the natural nature of a male and turning them into a, trying to turn them into a female, same with the females. You know, Kennedy is right. I mean, it, it is asinine the types of surgeries that they're making available. It is asinine that they think a kid 15 years old can make a life-changing decision. And we didn't, you probably didn't hear this 400,000 million times. 400 billion, million, gazillion, billion, billion, trillion times. That kids can't even drink alcohol at that age. People can't even, let me say people. People can't, kids can't even rent a car. Kids can't even get a driving permit at 15. Kids can't do nothing. You can't even watch certain movies that's rated R because you ain't of age. There's so many restrictions in society. Can't buy a gun. You can't do. You can't join the military. You can't even get a job at 15. I don't think you can legally work a job independently at 15. But you can, you can make a life-altering decision that's permanent and irreversible at 15 years old. It's barbaric and it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about what Kennedy said. And, and, and it's just outrageous that we're having this conversation. It is absolutely Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoy my content, I guarantee you, you will enjoy Tatum Plus. Brand new platform that we just launched. Exclusive content behind the scenes of speaking engagements. All the stuff you can't see on all of my social media platforms. We'll always have free content, but the extra stuff for people that really love my content will be on Tatum Plus. So go join Tatum Plus today.